Step into the whimsical world of March of the Wooden Soldiers, a 1934 film that's more than just a stroll down memory lane. Packed with funny, shocking, and even a hint of sadness, this classic Hollywood gem offers a roller coaster of emotions. As you enjoy the antics on screen, ask yourself which role stole the show for you, or perhaps which classic Hollywood actor left an indelible mark. Brimming with iconic performances and timeless humor, March of the Wooden Soldiers has something for everyone. The ensemble cast brings a delightful charm to the storyline, leaving you with a bevy of memorable characters to choose from. Keep your eyes peeled for those unexpected moments that'll have you laughing out loud or gasping in surprise. Now, as you relish the unfolding scenes, think about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic masterpiece. Was it a family gathering, a cozy movie night, or a surprising revelation that caught you off guard? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, which role or actor won your heart, and what's your personal connection to this cinematic treasure? Share your thoughts, and let's celebrate the magic of March of the Wooden Soldiers together. Stay tuned for more interesting facts and anecdotes in the comments section. Keep watching for more surprises, and remember your stories matter. Step into the magical world of March of the Wooden Soldiers, a 1934 cinematic masterpiece that has stood the test of time. Imagine a black and white setting filled with unforgettable performances, timeless humor, and surprising moments that make you laugh and gasp. In the lively era of classic Hollywood, this movie showcased the creativity and entertainment of its time. As you enjoy this cinematic journey, notice the charm brought by the talented cast. Each actor plays various roles, creating a rich story. The versatility on screen ensures there's something for everyone, from funny moments to heartwarming scenes. Beyond its entertainment value, March of the Wooden Soldiers holds a special place in many lives. Think about your favorite movie night or family gathering where this film added to the warmth of the moment. It's not just a classic Hollywood production, it's a part of personal history etched into the memories of those who've experienced its magic. While you watch, think about the actors who won your heart. Was it a captivating performance or a specific role that stuck with you? The impact of this cinematic gem goes beyond the screen. It's woven into shared stories and connections. In celebrating March of the Wooden Soldiers, feel free to share your thoughts and anecdotes in the comments below. What role or actor left a lasting impression on you, and how does this movie continue to hold a special place in your heart? Stay tuned for more surprises and interesting facts as we explore the captivating world of this Hollywood classic. Your stories matter and contribute to the ongoing legacy of March of the Wooden Soldiers. Nestled in Hollywood's history, the 1934 cinematic gem, March of the Wooden Soldiers, unfolds with a timeless charm. This classic is not just entertaining, but also forms a strong connection with the audience. As we explore the backstory of Stan, the acclaimed actor linked to this cinematic masterpiece, a plaque on 66 Princess Street in Bishop Auckland initially claimed to be his birthplace. However, detailed research debunked this, revealing a more nuanced tale. Born in Ulverston and baptized in St. Peter's Church, Stan's early years were marked by his mother, leaving him due to his fragile health. The family's move to North Shields added another layer to his formative years, influenced by his father's theater ventures. In a parallel narrative, Marie, a key figure in Hollywood, faced early challenges with her parents' divorce and her father's untimely demise. Raised by her stepfather, Frank White, Marie's Hollywood journey began with a trust fund left by her late father, enabling her to carve her path in the industry. Fast forward to the present, both Stan and Marie find their final resting place at Pierce Brothers Valhalla Memorial Park in North Hollywood, California. This poignant detail adds a touch of reality to the real world they once inhabited. March of the Wooden Soldiers, amidst its laughter-inducing scenes and compelling performances, becomes more than a film. It's a thread woven into personal histories, connecting individuals through shared memories of cozy movie nights and family gatherings. The ensemble cast's versatility shines through, offering a diverse range of characters that connect with viewers. As you relish the unfolding scenes, ponder the actors who won your heart. Was it a specific role or a memorable performance that left an impression? The movie's significance goes beyond the screen, etching itself into the collective memory of those who've experienced its magic. In celebrating this classic, share your thoughts and anecdotes below. Let's unravel more surprises and interesting facts, enriching the narrative of this Hollywood gem. 
your stories matter, contributing to the ongoing tale of a film that transcends time. In the early 19th, Stan, who had a mix of different schooling experiences, ended up entertaining teachers at Bishop Auckland Grammar School and later at Queen's Park Secondary School in Glasgow. This paved the way for his future in the entertainment industry. A significant part of Stan's career began when he teamed up with Oliver Hardy. Their comic debut in the fun and fiction world marked the start of a successful partnership. This funny pair appeared in many comics and eventually gained a prominent spot in film fun in March 1934, making readers laugh with their humorous acts. Among various adaptations of Stevenson's classic tale, one film stands out for its clever approach. Dr. Pickle and Mr. Pride, a 1925 short film, shows Stan Laurel's talent in making fun of John Barrymore's 1920 performance. This unique perspective adds an interesting layer to Stan's many talents. As we explore the Hollywood history surrounding March of the Wooden Soldiers, the background of Stan's early life and Marie's Hollywood journey unfolds. Although Stan was initially said to be born on 66 Princes Street in Bishop Auckland, detailed research revealed Ulverston as his actual birthplace. Marie faced early challenges and her Hollywood journey began with a trust fund from her late father. In a poignant turn, both Stan and Marie found their final resting place at Pierce Brothers Valhalla Memorial Park in North Hollywood, California. This stark reality adds authenticity to the real world they once lived in. March of the Wooden Soldiers, beyond its funny scenes and impressive performances, weaves together personal histories. The versatile cast shines, offering a variety of characters that connect with viewers. As you enjoy the unfolding scenes, think about the actors who made an impact. Was it a particular role or a memorable performance that touched your heart? Share your thoughts and stories below, contributing to the ongoing tale of a film that transcends time. Your stories matter, adding depth to the narrative of this Hollywood gem. March of the Wooden Soldiers, a movie from 1934, gives us a glimpse into the tough times faced by Stan Laurel, one half of the famous comedy duo Laurel and Hardy. What many people don't know is that Stan was dealing with serious cancer while making the film and eventually had two strokes. This makes the funny moments in the movie more touching when you realize the challenges he was going through. Stan didn't like using too much dialogue in movies because of his slight lisp. He always gave fewer lines than Oliver Hardy. This wasn't just a preference, it came from Stan's own insecurities, showing that there was more going on behind their comedy act than meets the eye. There was a time when the duo split up briefly. Stan explained that it happened when Oliver took a role in the film Zenobia without him. It was because of a contract issue, not a permanent breakup. They got back together after sorting out their contract problems. Unfortunately, Stan never got to star in a Technicolor film called The Red Mill as he had hoped. All the behind-the-scenes struggles and personal problems add depth to March of the Wooden Soldiers. It's not just a funny movie, it's also a look into the lives of Hollywood legends who faced challenges and kept going. It's a reminder of the human side of entertainment. 